Welcome to our exciting series of training videos devoted to the Acronis Files Cloud. This series consists of several complimentary videos targeted especially at novice users who do not have any experience with Acronis Files Cloud. This video focuses on the user interface and basic functionality of the web-based version of Acronis Files Cloud. In turn, in the subsequent videos, we'll have a look at the installation, configuration, and basic functionality of the desktop and mobile clients respectively. So let's get started. Acronis Files Cloud is a sophisticated cloud-based file sync and share solution designed for service providers and targeted at businesses. It allows a company's employees to collaboratively create, edit, share, and synchronize files with each other using the web-based user interface as well as through a wide range of devices such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, PCs, and Macs. Let's have a look at the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud from the viewpoint of a user. We assume that you are already registered by your company's IT administrator and have a login and password for the Acronis Files Cloud. Navigate to the Acronis Files Cloud and provide your login and password. Navigate to the user profile. Here you can change your username, password, and language for Acronis Files Cloud's user interface. Moreover, you can change the settings for email notifications. For example, you can receive automatic notifications when somebody creates a new file or folder, moves it to another location, or deletes it. Moreover, you can specify the frequency of such email notifications. Finally, you can download a desktop or mobile client and install it on your local computer or mobile device. Navigate to the section Sync and Share. Here you can see all the files and folders that are either created by you or shared with you by others. Let's have a look at the folder level operations. In order to create a new folder, press the Create Folder button and specify a name for the new folder. For each folder, you can perform the following operations. First, you can download the folder as a zip archive and save it to your local machine. Second, you can view the whole revision history of the folder. Moreover, you can roll back the current version of the folder to the one of previous states. Third, you can rename the folder. Fourth, you can copy the folder and make it a subfolder of another folder. And fifth, you can move the folder to another folder. Sixth, you can share the folder with both internal and external users. As an option, you can allow new users to edit and delete the folder and its contents, as well as to invite other users. Moreover, you can specify the conditions for expiring new user profiles. Finally, you can customize your invitation and send it to new users in one of 12 available languages. You can delete the folder. The good news is that this operation is reversible. If you've chance to delete a folder or file, you can restore them. In order to reveal all the deleted entities, press the Show Deleted button. In order to restore a specific file or folder, select it in the list and press the Restore button. Once you've shared a folder with other users, you can configure email notifications to receive updates when the content of the folder is updated or when some error occurs. Moreover, you can invite new users and impose certain role restrictions to existing users sharing that folder. You can easily synchronize the folder with all the relevant desktop clients installed on the user's local machines by pressing the corresponding button next to the folder name. This feature allows you to quickly implement important changes to an existing folder and make sure that all the relevant users are using the latest content. In order to upload a file to a specific folder, click on the folder's name and make sure that the name of the folder is displayed in the breadcrumbs appearing at the top of the page. In the right panel, press the Upload Files button. 
You can choose from multiple files from a specific folder located on your computer and drag and drop them to the corresponding upload area. Let's have a look at file level operations. Operations, download, revisions, rename, copy, and move are similar to the corresponding operations at the folder level. Along with these operations, you can also send the download link for a specific file to internal and external recipients. Moreover, you can make the download link temporary and specify the conditions for its automatic expiration. Finally, you can generate a public or private download link and send it to the recipients via email. As regards the privacy of the shared files or folders, it should be noted that all the entities stored in the Acronis Files Cloud are only accessible by their authorized users. In particular, it means that even company level and service provider level administrators are not able to see and access your files and folders if those entities are not shared within them. You can easily preview all the shared files using the file editor embedded into the Acronis Files Cloud. Navigate to the section Links. Here you can find all the download links for the files shared either by you or with one of your users. Navigate to the section Log. Here you can trace all the operations performed by all the registered users. You can filter the operations by type and keywords. Finally, Let's have a look at the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud from the viewpoint of a company's administrator. It should be noted that for a company's administrator, the user interface, navigation, and management principles are very similar to the ones of a normal user. The only exception might take place at the login stage if you, as a company's administrator, manage multiple Acronis services in your company. In this case, once you've logged into the Acronis Files Cloud, you will see all the services assigned to you. This allows you to switch between those services anytime. That's it with the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud. See you in the next video.